So I am trying to figure out which is the problem in itself as I am looking through the calendar. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if January is a convenient and easy month for me to not drink for 30 days. <laughs> Isn't that how it goes? Like when you're like, you know what? I'm not going to drink in this month. But then you start going through the calendar and you're like, oh, that's my friend Amy's birthday. I'm sure we're going to drink. Uh, I can't really do that because, you know, it's going to be blank or blank. And then you try to pick the convenient. I definitely need this right now. I don't know where you guys are with drinking, but I just got through an engagement, um, breaking up during an engagement. So I will say that I've been numbing a little bit more than I have been in the last year. Nothing like when I went through my divorce years ago. It's been much better than that. I'm not nearly that guy, but it's just been, I'm back to like one or two a night, Mm. uh, which is real bad. Uh, And then even when I I had dinner with some friends the other night and I said to myself, I'm going to shock all of them. I'm going to get into that restaurant and I'm not ordering a drink tonight. And as soon as I set foot in the restaurant, I'm like, what do you guys want to drink? (laughs) (laughs) So I I really think that it will be very healthy for me in January. And I told these guys earlier, I'm dealing dealing with some self-anger issues also in breaking up the engagement. Uh, And I want to be real clear about this because I think sometimes you guys get this twisted. You guys are fans of the show and you're on my side. And when I say that I went through a breakup, I put it on me, Mm -hmm. right? Uh, I don't like to expose my ex. I still respect my ex. She's got a daughter that I absolutely love. So when I'm looking back at this relationship, I take a lot of responsibility for what I put up with. So the anger that I'm dealing with uh, she had. She's never. She never asked me to do things that I did. She never forced me to do things or put me in positions that I did to myself. But now that I'm looking back at it, I I've asked myself why I sacrificed for so long in areas that are really really important to me. And that's not on her. That's been on me. So I've been pretty angry at myself, and I've been drinking a little bit to try to like get those thoughts and that anger out of my. And I just got to stop in January. Uh, so we're. I think we're all in the same boat. Uh, my blood. T- Type right now is Pino. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I, and I don't know about um, I, I don't know what the deal is this particular holiday season. Um, but I've caught myself drinking more and drinking during the week because that was my mm-hmm. thing. Like I don't drink during the week, and I'm only you know doing it on the weekends. Is it parties that you're going to, or is it just if, if me sitting at the kitchen table while my son's walking watching Mickey Mouse uh, Clubhouse a is a party? Then, then yes, <laughs> yes and you it also, is. You also said this time of season every year is hard for you because your dad's not around anymore yes. so maybe that has something to do with it. Yeah, so when you're, you know, but everybody, like, you know, like, drinking doesn't make it better. Drinking makes it worse. Mm-hmm. I know, you say that. And for a little while, it does. It make it, I mean, I'm about to say it make it better for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least a little bit in the middle somewhere. <laughs> There's a couple hours in there. Right? <laughs> Maybe it's an in-studio problem because I also am like, I have already been thinking, talking to my husband about taking January off from drinking and doing dry January Mm -hmm. just because I want to see what it feels like. It's been so long since I've gone that amount of time without a drink. I don't know what it feels like anymore and I want to see what it feels like and if I truly am a better person sober or if the world needs me drunk. (laughs) (laughs) All very good questions. I, I remember I too was trying to find a month to go sober the entire month and that was two years ago I still have not found that month <laughs> um, I, I, I wanted to stop during the week that was a thing for me too and I think I realized it's a mental thing with me it's something about me where if I say I'm not going to drink for 30 days it, it, it's like it becomes the hardest thing ever can I tell you that I walked out of a situation the other day where I had one drink and left the bar and that was way more difficult than me not drinking at all same yeah same and I, I think If I do it organically to the point where I'm not actually like challenging myself, I do it easily if I'm just not thinking about it. And then now I've gotten a routine where Katie and I would have one drink during podcast day during the week and then I give myself a floating day. So if I drink on Friday, I can't drink on Saturday. If Uh I drink vice versa. But I got one other day that I can use and that's worked for me. That's been my routine. We we know Abby's been hitting the sauce because she's been talking to cows. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Had, her, had her friend group the other day. Oh, yeah. She I mean, excused that, herself to talk to some animals. That Pinot's been hitting me hard, but I've already committed to doing dry January, which I'm not like super stressed about because I find it really easy to give up alcohol because of the way it makes me 
feel. And I've noticed a correlation of how I feel like for the rest of the week. Like if I have a really hard weekend of drinking, I will notice that for the rest of the week, I'm kind of off. Mm-hmm. And so the thought of getting to have so much clarity in January is getting me excited. Although I will say I'm, I, I'm giving myself two cheat days because my cousin's bridal showers in January. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be having me some mimosas. <laughs> All right, so this is what we're gonna do okay. for Jan- for like 2024. Um, you remember how we had the sex bell last this past year? Yeah. And then, you know, whoever got, got laid had to you know, hit the bell. Um, this year, we're going to see who can go the longest without having a drink. Oh, we'll see. And we're all very competitive in here. Yes. So um, when we come back from the holidays, we will have <laughs> okay. the drink bell. And if you had a drink, you have to come in and ring the bell and you're out of the competition. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm not mad at that. Kind of hold it because I, I I think we're all pretty much on the same page that we want to we want to cut back. So we're gonna have the drink bell for 2024. I don't know why this competition scares me more than any we've ever had. All this. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to give up drinking in January because I have a best friend that's got a birthday in October. <laughs> <laughs> the Bird Show.